Pray for Lord. Hallelujah. We can pray one minute to the Lord right now. Pray for Lord. We can pray one minute to the Lord right now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, today's session I'm giving in your hand. Heavenly Father, when the time of preaching this gospel, Father God, you are sending your anointing and your power to each one of them. Today's a message, God's power. Thank you for you are revealing your power and glory in front of everybody. Father God, I pray this section. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are taking control of this session. And give me the anointing and the power to each one of them. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So God bless you. So thank you very much. People are watching. The same session I'll be preaching Malayalam. Praise the tomorrow morning. Praise the Lord. So God's power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So people are watching. May God bless you. More and more in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. One more day. We are preaching. We are witnessing our God. Because our God is alive. Jesus Christ is alive. This is only one life. You and me. Our God. This is the grace of God. We are still alive. Praise the Lord. Each and every day. Every day is a new day. Praise the Lord. So we have to give the thanks and praise to the Lord. Because by the grace of God, we all are still alive to them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So today I would like to, this is the message today. The power, the power of God, the God's power. Praise the Lord. I would like to take one more section. The, the first and second, third section of this power of the Lord. Praise the Lord. The coming weeks will be taken by the grace of God. Praise the Lord. Today I could not go to the street. Thank you very much. Uh, Robin Matthew, uh, Blessing Thomas, Gracie, HG Media, uh, Praveen, uh, Bona, everybody, people are watching online. So God bless you. May God bless everybody more and more. The power that means the Greek word is called uh, semantic. Praise the Lord. This Bible says that uh, that means the domain of power. Praise the Lord. Domain and power. God's power is a domain power. We can see in the world lots of powers. Praise the Lord. The world power. And there is a, I know that one, satanic power in this world. But our God's power, we can say domain power. The Greek word we can say, uh, semantic domain of power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Domain power. That means his ability to accomplish his ability, that means God's ability to accomplish his will in every situation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Both real and protection. Praise the Lord. Uh, that means unbearable things. Our God's power, because of, through the God's power, our God can able to make, praise the Lord, the unbelievable things in our life. Through the mighty power and domain power of God. This is what I want to say according to the Bible today. Praise the Lord. LDM. That's what. His ability to accomplish his will in every situation, both real and potential. Through any means, he chooses in order to glorify himself. Praise the Lord. LDM. This is what. Okay. If our God, God's power means in our life, I born again and baptized. Praise the Lord. 2013, I born again and baptized. Many times, I was walking in the lots of places. Uh, lots of places means lots of troubles I was facing. Praise the Lord. In between, many times, uh, our God's power I could I could able to see by the power of the Lord. Wherever enemy was trying to destroy my life, praise the Lord. In all that places, praise the Lord. The enemies, the people, those who are creating the troubles in my life, they were thinking, praise the Lord, I will get die or you know, that one, I will, you know, that one, I will never come up again. But through whatever they are doing by their hand or by their deeds, praise the Lord. Our God was our God, our God was helping me by this domain power to overcome all the situations, what all the things it was which was which was coming against my life. Praise the Lord. I could able to see the victory. Some places I could not see, but our God was still 
our God is still working on that one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that if you are in Christ Jesus, many times you will get troubles. Everybody will get troubles. But with the God, our God is saying, praise the Lord, we, you will be a successful person. We are the more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus by the power of the Lord. Power of the Lord means that is the power of the Holy Spirit. I would like to read First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 20 and 21. And First Corinthians chapter 4, verses 20 and 21. Praise the Lord. In this Bible saying, For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. Praise the Lord. And again, Bible says, Be exalted. And First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 20. Praise the Lord. This is what I will say. The kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. That's what Apostle Paul said. Praise the Lord. The power of the Holy Spirit. The Christ is in you, the hope of glory. Power is equal to the glory of the Lord. Power is equal to the presence of the Lord. The mighty power. Praise the Lord. That means the equal to the glory of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Presence, that means presence also we can equal to the power, but the glory, uh, uh, you know, that one, that is the highest one. That means uh, in the Old Testament, Moses could not be able to stand in front of the God. In front of the God. Praise the Lord. That means he could be able to stand, but Moses could not be able to see the face of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because of the glory. I can say the glory that is equal to the power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Power is equal to the glory. The glory is equal to the power. Praise the Lord. That is what Jesus Christ could die on third day. Jesus Christ, we can see the resurrection of God. Praise the Lord. That means the power and glory of the Lord. Power that means after the death of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ could able to destroy all the work of the devil. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So that is what okay. Jesus Christ could able to destroy all the work of the devil by his dominion power and mighty power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible is saying. First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 20, the Bible says, For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. Or is if I am using the word of God, if I am preaching, when I am preaching this gospel, praise the Lord, if I am simply sitting in the house, nothing will happen in my life. But I want to take some you know, faith in action. Praise the Lord. I want to do some faith in action. That's what I'm going to the street. I will go to the street. I will preach the gospel. I will pray for the sick people. Jesus Christ will do his power. When I'm praying, when I was praying the gospel, when I was praying for the sick people. This is what, okay. We have, if you are the gospel preacher, we have to do something in our heart. Praise the Lord. We have to do some faith in action. We should not sit in our house always. We have to come out and preach the gospel in front of everybody. And we have to say to all the people, this word of God is not at all simply written in the Bible, but who are is preaching using this word of God. There is a power in that word of God. There is a mighty presence of the God's Go, the presence of the Lord, it is there in that word. Praise the Lord. Because of this reason, Bible is saying, by the stripes of Jesus Christ, we all are healed. Healing happened. Deliverance happened. We can cast out the Satanic spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit power can able to praise the Lord. Um, and, uh, no, get the wisdom and knowledge. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Whenever you are preaching this gospel in you, after that, when you are getting wisdom and knowledge, knowledge that means equal to the revelation. Praise the Lord. The revelation of the Holy Spirit. When we preach this gospel, the Holy Spirit will reveal. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What we have to do it. What we should not do it. Praise the Lord. Because our God wants to glorify his name. Praise the Lord. This is what I keep. Uh, for example, Apostle Paul, he was preached the gospel in the many places. Praise the Lord. In uh, Jerusalem, the Samaria, and Judea, praise the Lord, in all the places. Apostle Paul preached the gospel, praise the Lord. Apostle Peter also preached the gospel. We can see some places when Apostle Paul is preached the, preaching the gospel, sick person, person received the healing, praise the Lord. The person who was having the disability from his mother's womb, from their birth itself. After hearing the word of God from the mouth of Apostle Paul, the sick person could able to receive the strength and power to stand 
properly uh, in his speech. Praise the Lord. That means the gospel is not simply the word. But when I am preaching this gospel, if you are hearing this word of God, the day, the time, the moment when you believe this word of God, the faith, the Holy Spirit will help you to increase your faith in you. Praise the Lord. Increase the faith in God in you. Praise the Lord. When you receive this faith, Bible saying the faith like a mustard seed. Praise the Lord. If you have a little bit of faith, praise the Lord, in God. This God is a God. Praise the Lord. It is written by or it is written in the Bible. It is for me. When you believe accordingly, the mighty things will happen. So, for example, when I was preaching the gospel in the speech, in a portion of citizen, <laughs> I can say the portion of citizen. I'm so much happy to say the word where the word I'm living right now, the words not. Praise the Lord. In a very nice seaside. When I start to preach this gospel, the year of 2017, no one was preaching this gospel in the city. By the Lord, only I was preaching this gospel. Some people, they were mocking. They were saying something against me. Some people ridiculed me. I can say boldly to everybody. Praise the Lord. Hundreds and hundreds, lots of people received, got saved in the city. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And lots of people got baptized from the city. Praise the Why it happened like that? The more we are preaching this gospel, the more the power of the Holy Spirit will manifest in that place. Praise the Lord. This is what I want to say to all the people. Brother Anand Jivan, God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Tom and Matthew, God, please share this word of God. People are watching online. I want to request to all the people. Praise the Lord. Rajan Mani, God bless you. Rajan Mani, Suja G. Joseph, Tom and Thomas, uh, and uh, Jen C. Matthew, Victoria Thomas. God bless you. Okay, people are watching. Man. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you share this word of God? Praise the Lord. Every day we have to do something for God. Please, Lord. Okay. If our God wants to manifest His power through you, we have to pray every day. What we are praying, what revelation we are getting each and every day, we have to share with the summary. We have to share in front of everybody. Sometimes, if you don't have, don't don't have anybody to, uh, you know, that don't, uh, you know, uh, when you are getting the revelation from the Holy Spirit, praise the Lord. Sometimes you are thinking you don't, um, uh, people are not hearing you. What do you have to do? It praise the Lord. We have to go to the public. We have to go and preach the gospel in public places. We have to declare the revelation, whatever God has given to you. Praise the Lord. We have to declare in front of everybody. The day, the time, the moment when you are declaring the word of God, praise the Lord, and your revelation in Christ, the Holy Spirit will touch somebody's heart and our God will connect somebody to you. Praise the Lord. This is what our God's work, it is. it will not be waste. Whatever you are doing, the gospel work in you. Praise the Lord. Well, maybe you by your hand, and you know, the, um, you know, by directly or indirectly, maybe you are uh, distribute the gospel right or whatever. Praise the Lord. That work is not at all waste in Christ Jesus. You definitely we can see the fruits, the work, what you have done for God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We can see the result of your gospel preaching within uh, maybe one within a few months or a few years. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It will happen because this is a, a word of God. Whatever you're preaching, um, the gospel or whatever, praise the Lord. Whenever you're doing the gospel work, if you're doing something for God, either today or tomorrow or day after tomorrow, you can see the result in your eyes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Book of Psalm chapter 21, verse 13, Bible says, Be exalted, O Lord, in your own strength. Praise the Lord. We will sing and praise your power. That is King David. You are saying, um, our God strength. King David was saying about the strength of God, the mighty strength and power of the Lord. Praise the Lord. He was facing lots of troubles. He was facing lots of difficult situations in his life. Praise the Lord. King David, he was a shepherd. Praise the Lord. Um, after that, you know, that one, only one thing he was doing from his side, what he has done, he was having a good heart. Uh, David, he was worshipping God. This is what he was doing always. Because of this reason, the God's favor came to him. After that, when the God's favor is coming to anybody, praise the Lord, the miracle will happen in our life. Something greatest things in your life happen. Something greatest things will happen in our life. Unbelievable things will happen in your life. Praise the Lord. It is not by our own power. Praise the Lord. It will be by the domain power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So God bless you everybody. Thank you very much. Okay. Maybe people are doing the ministry, the gospel work or gospel ministry or whatever. Praise the Lord. 
maybe you are thinking i started this ministry okay online ministry started 2020 <laughs> every day continuously we are doing by the grace of god whether people are coming here or not i don't mind that god praise lord whether people are here in this gospel or not i don't mind that one i'm doing my duty praise lord even if one person is here in this gospel our god can touch you that one person holy spirit can able to touch that one person through that one person our holy spirit can do a mighty revival in the city not only in the city but in all over the nations that's what i want to say that when you read the book of acts apostle paul he was prosecuted to the church of god praise the lord he was a great great prosecutor but when he himself came to know the power and glory of the god the glory of the holy spirit praise the lord hallelujah what happened our god was using praise the lord his gospel outreach through the mouth of apostle paul in all the cities of samaria judea in all the you know that one Euro european countries and asia praise the lord hallelujah and you know africa and all the continents now the gospel preachers are there praise the lord because of the reason after the resurrection of jesus christ in the early centuries we can see that one all the disciples their revelation what they were um, you know what was their revelation praise the lord the revelation of the holy spirit had to receive the revelation of the holy spirit all the disciples they were preaching their revelation in front of everybody praise the lord hallelujah the people you know bible says in your book of acts chapter 2 lots of people got saved praise the lord thousands and thousands of people received the salvation praise the lord the reason is the revelation what all the disciples when they received from the heaven book of acts chapter 1 onwards praise the lord hallelujah they were sharing their revelation in front of everybody praise the lord today i want to say all the people praise the lord our word of god it is not a praise the lord it is not like a normal book the word of god is a the holy book bible is a holy book it's not like a quran it is not like a gita it is not like a some other books okay the bible is a holy book this bible is written by the power of the holy spirit that means this entire bible is written by the revelation of the holy spirit this entire bible is written by god itself that is what okay when we are using this word of god this word of god can do the healing in your life something this word of god uh, this word of god can do in our life praise the lord hallelujah that should i be saying when i was preaching this gospel in the street lots of people after praying lots of people they were crying praise the lord the reason was our god was touching them when we are preaching this gospel this word of god can able to touch somebody's heart praise the lord that means either today or today or tomorrow our god can do the revival and you know that one uh, his glory and the anointing he can able to pass his anointing and power to each one of them because the word which i am preaching the word what you are hearing today praise the lord this is all the word it is written by the power of the holy spirit praise the lord hallelujah um, that's what the book um, in the bible saying okay book of nehemiah chapter 9 verse 32 in this bible says now therefore our god praise the lord the great the mighty and a mighty god praise the lord hallelujah when you are looking at in the old testament and the new testament okay our god was saying to abraham our god was saying abraham is there anything impossible for me praise the lord that means our god was saying to abraham praise the lord everything is possible with the god praise the lord maybe you are waiting for the promises to get fulfilled in your life last 20 years or 25 years no matter praise the lord and the god almighty praise the lord and the promise giver the promise what i have said from my mouth 100% it will get fulfilled in your life because and the god what i have said from my mouth that cannot be changed this is what our god is saying to abraham praise the lord what all the promises it was written when you are reading book of genesis chapter 12 and 13 and 14 when you are reading uh, from 12 uh, you know that one uh, in all the chapters in all the chapters of the genesis praise the lord we can see the power and glory the mighty things what our god has done in all the characters in the old testament praise the lord hallelujah and later on when you are reading book of exodus book of joshua and everything our god is repeating again his power in front of the children of israel praise the lord and destroying all the enemies of the children of israel praise the lord that's what today i want to say our god is the same yesterday today and forever praise the lord our god is the same god 
like the God um, of yesterday. Our God is the same today. So today, um, if anyone is asking to the Lord to get something in our life, if I am asking to get something in my life, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Only one thing, praise the Lord. Definitely one day our God can be able to provide in our life. But I cannot say that which day and what time you will get it, praise the Lord. One day our God can be able to help you to uh, get fulfilled in our life. Book of Ephesians chapter 1 verses 19. This is the Bible saying, 19. Book of Ephesians chapter 1 verses 19 and 20. Uh, 21 in this Bible is saying, Praise the Lord, in what is the exceeding greatness of His power toward us who believe according to the working of His mighty power? Praise the Lord. Verse 20 Bible says, Which He worked in Christ when He raised Him from the dead and seated Him at His right hand in the heavenly places. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 21 Bible is saying, For above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named. Praise Lord. Not only in this, in this age, but also in that which is to come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Book of Ephesians chapter 1, verse 20, Bible is saying, the greatest power of the God, the person, those who believe in Christ Jesus. Only one thing our God can do the miracle in everybody's life. Only one way. There are only two conditions. Our God can be able to do the miracle in our life. Only two conditions. The one way we have to believe in God, the God's work. Praise Lord. For example, when you're reading the uh, book of Matthew chapter 8, praise the Lord. And also when you're reading the book of Mark chapter um, uh, 2, uh, our God is healing a pious person. Book of Matthew chapter 8, our God is healing a centurion servant. And also our God is healing a leper. Praise the Lord. And the Gospel of John chapter 5, praise the Lord. Our God was healing a person who was here with a disability last 38 years. All these people, all the characters in the New Testament, praise the Lord. Before, when they received the healing, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Before that, uh, they were having the faith in God. This God can be able to do something in my life. So that they were believing the presence and the power and the glory of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today, if anyone wants to receive something from the Lord, only one thing I want to say, praise the Lord, we have to believe, we have to declare our faith in God. Praise the Lord. We have to say something from our mouth. This God can be able to help me. This God can be able to fulfill my desire. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Either today or day after tomorrow. Maybe I'm here today sick. Praise the Lord. This God can be able to heal my sickness. Either today or tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Maybe in the, uh, the or in the future. Not maybe in the future. Praise the Lord. Because our God's word which is written in the Bible, praise Lord, that is still alive, praise Lord. Again, Bible is saying, by the blood of Jesus Christ, all are receiving the healing, praise Lord. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, all are receiving the healing, praise Lord. The, before receiving the healing, we have to repeat all these Bible words from our mouth. The day, the time, even the moment, when you receive these Bible words, our God can do something in our life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So glory be to God. Book of Psalm chapter 1, 0, 5, verses 4, Bible says, Praise Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Praise Lord. Seek his faith evermore. Praise the Lord. Verses 5, Bible says, Remember his marvelous works which he has done. Praise the Lord. His wonders and the judgment of his mouth. Praise the Lord. And verses 6, Bible says, Praise the Lord. LADM. That's what okay. Lord, we had another thing. If anyone wants to receive the power of the Lord, praise the Lord. Lord, want to receive the power of the Lord, want to get something in our life, just our wonder things or whatever, praise the Lord. We have to give the glory and thanks to the Lord. We have to look at our old things. We have to look at our past things. We have to look at our old life. How uh, you are doing your old life. When you, before you born again, praise the Lord, how uh, our God was, you know, that what was your life, praise the Lord. After you're born again in Christ Jesus, how our God has protected you how my God has protected me. Praise the Lord. We have to compare our old life before Christ, praise, before you are in Christ and after you are in Christ. Praise the Lord. Just to compare the, all these places, all the areas of your life. Praise the Lord. And compare. And we can see that when the lots of breakthrough, the lots of miracle, lots of mighty things our God has done. I know that in your life and my life too. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What do I have to do it? Only one thing. We have to give the thanks and praise to the Lord for everything, each and every. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The more we give the praise and thanks to the Lord, the more 
mighty things our God can be able to do in our life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that that is what the book of Zechariah, chapter 6, 4, verse 6, Bible says, not by might, nor by power, praise the Lord, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Praise the Lord. Our God is here with the mighty power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Power is coming by the Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit, that means the same Spirit has raised the Jesus Christ from the death to the life. Praise the Lord. By the power of the Holy Spirit, all the disciples, when we are reading the book of Acts chapter 2, they all received the power, power and anointing from the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. By the mighty power of the Holy Spirit, the person who was having the disability book of Acts chapter 3, he could be able to receive the humble healing in his body. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If the people could be able to, lots of people could be able to come out from the death to the life. It was happened by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Even today too, our God can be able to touch you. Our God can be able to heal your body. Our God can be able to establish your life. Praise the Lord. Your territories, our God can be able to increase you. Maybe at a ministry level, maybe at a family life, maybe the work which you are doing. Maybe at the ministry level, praise the Lord. Maybe at the business side, where place, praise the Lord. Maybe at the sickness, praise the Lord. Our God can be able to set his power. And our God can be able to, praise the Lord, do something, get his thing, praise the Lord. Unbelievable things in your life. Because our God is a mighty God. Nothing shall be impossible with God. With God, everything is possible. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that I want to pray for everybody, the people are watching your life. This God is a mighty God. Some people are thinking, for oh, the lots of years, that's 10 years or 15 years or 20 years. Praise the Lord. Yeah, I just keep on praying to get happen, something to, to get happen in my life. Praise the Lord. I want to say to every people, praise the Lord, continue to pray to the Lord. This God will never put shave your face. Praise the Lord. One day, you will get a chance to rejoice in your life. Praise the Lord. Because our God is a mighty God. Our God will never leave you nor forsake you. Our God is a uh, God who is here with the compassion on you today. Praise the Lord. So I want to pray one thing to all the people today. Maybe you are having lots of tensions in your life. Maybe you are facing the sickness in your life. Praise the Lord. Maybe the anxiety. Maybe lots of things are happening in your life. Praise the Lord. Maybe you are facing loneliness. Uh, uh, lots of things sometimes, sometimes you are facing in our life. But only one thing. Rest in God. Give thanks and praise to the Lord. This God can send his mighty power. All the enemy's power, satanic power, can be able to destroy by the domain power of God. This is what I want to say to all the people. The power means the domain power. God's power means domain power. Power can defeat, our God's power can be able to defeat all the powers, what all the powers, whatever you are seeing in this world. Because our God is having the domain power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want to pray for everybody right now. The people are watching online. Praise the Lord. So, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for everybody right now. This was a message today, the power of the Lord. Father God, I pray for everybody right now. Heavenly Father, I will share in this gospel, this word of God. Your word itself is a power. Father God, I pray. Thank you for your touching the people, those who are hearing this word of God. Father God, thank you for your touching the people, those who are hearing this word of God. Lots of sick people, many sick people are watching right now. Thank you, God, you're sending your anointing and power to each one of them. Heavenly Father, I pray for them right now, especially the people having the, the brain problem right now. The people are watching some kind of brain problem, some kind of uncomfortable facing in your brain right now. In Jesus' name, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ right now. In Jesus' name, shikalla tu rakani, shantata pata kalla tu rakani, shantata pata kalla tu. In Jesus' name, I bind a cast out right now. All kind of evil spirit attack right now. All kind of evil spirit attack right now, which is coming their brain. Uh, somebody is watching right now. You have the problem in your brain right now. In Jesus' name, I declare the healing right now. Shantata pata kalla tu rakani, shantata pata kalla tu rakani. Heavenly Father, I pray for all the people right now. The people, those who are watching here. As a Rajaman, Anand Chivan, Sandhu, Ichi Media, Rajender Kumar, John, Suja, uh, Aji Joseph, Samuel Thomas, Brain Thomas, praise the Lord, Claire, Pixie, and uh, Tumin, and lots of people are watching online, praise the Lord, hallelujah. I pray for each and every people right now. I bless each and every people. Father God, I pray for the people, those who are watching from UK, Europe. And African, North and South American Asian countries. I pray for each one. Father God, I pray. 
once again more I pray for each one of you. In Jesus' name. Amen. So God bless you. Thank you, Lord.